Hey, you guys. I am making a treat. We all know about red velvet cake. And some of you may already know there's red velvet cookies. That's what I'm making. So let's get started. So let me tell you how I made this dough. It is two cups of all-purpose flour included with two tablespoons of unsweetened cocoa mix, right? With one and a half teaspoons of baking powder and then a fourth of a teaspoon of um, baking soda, half teaspoon of salt, and then I just mixed all of that together, okay? All right, so I started by creaming one stick of butter with three-fourths cups of granulated sugar, okay? And once I got that all mixed up, then I added in two eggs one at a time. Of course, you know me, I cracked them in a cup before I put them in my batter. Then I added in two teaspoons of um, vanilla extract. Okay, once that got incorporated, I did one tablespoon of uh, red food coloring. Okay. And then I gradually added in the um, flour mixture and got it all together. So once I got all that together, then as you can see, all I'm doing is I'm taking this dough. And like I said, it's a sticky dough. And I'm rolling it into balls rolling it in confection sugar, placing it on my parchment paper. Of course, you know, I'm making a mess every place I go. And um, we're gonna bake it in a 325 oven for about 10, 12 minutes, okay? Now, once I get this whole sheet of um, cookies ready, then I am going to re-roll all the uh, cookies in a um, in more confectioner sugar. So it's going to be rolled in confectioner sugar twice. All right. Okay. All right. So we're getting close here. We're getting close. spread all those out. Okay, now let me just start over. Rolling again in confectioner sugar. And give it a little pat down. That's all I'm doing. Rolling again in confectioner sugar. Again, giving it a little pat down. All right, I'm gonna continue doing this and then I'm gonna stick them in the oven for 10 to 12 minutes, and I'll prepare my second sheet so I can get a assembly line going. So you sit tight, and I'll be back to you in just one second, with clean hands, maybe. <laughs> I'll see you then. Okay, I actually let them bake about four minutes longer. So I'm gonna go ahead, I don't want them to start burning, but I can smell them, so I, I know it's Time. So, I'm going to let these cool on the tray for about five minutes, and then I'm going to transfer them over to uh, my cooling rack. So, let me get this second tray in. And based on the first one, then I know to go just a little bit longer on the time. Okay? So, I shall return. Okay, it has been five minutes. So I'm gonna move them over to the cooling rack. And I felt them, they, they feel done, so. I don't know. 
We shall try them and see. I'm gonna tell you what, this whole parchment paper, baking on parchment paper, is awesome for the cleanup. But it sure does shift on me on these new trays that my uh, baking sheets that my husband got me. So, and then look at this. Clean up, ta-da! <laughs> Look, you guys, this makes about two dozen cookies, and I think if I'd made the um, ball smaller, of course, I would have had more cookies, um, but I want to show you, look at that. Mm -hmm. Not too shabby. Not too shabby at all. It's more like a, it's very much a cake cookie. Um, I miss the cream cheese though. I can taste the red velvet in it. Um, I think next time I'm going to put just a cream cheese on top. Little squigglies. What do you call those things? Anyway, it doesn't matter. They're good. Two bites, y'all. Thanks for watching. Mm. Mm.